China Airlines new aircraft A321neo Life and narrow body business class seat. How's the dining experience on board? Hi, I'm Tree Papa, a travel enthusiast and proud father of three. Discover family friendly spots and tips for making the most of your travels. Join me, let's explore together. Welcome to Bangkok. This iconic statue welcomes me right after passport control. And soon I will be flying back to Taiwan. As always, let me share how I got here. I flew Oman Air in business class, generously free upgraded to the first class seat, my third time this year. Experienced the luxurious Middle Eastern fine dining services and stunning flight view in the mini suite. Check the link below for more details. Bangkok Airport is spacious, housing numerous branded stores and airline lounges. Unfortunately, with limited transit time from my China Airlines CIA 3A to Taipei, I can't explore much today. Surprisingly, China Airlines has its own lounge here. Let's take a quick look. Entering to a warm welcome, the lounge offers a buffet with pastries, ice cream, and juice. On the other side, there's a hot soup. Breakfast and a highlight, even fried eggs. Don't miss the coconut drinks, a taste of Thailand. Lastly, enjoy your drinks in ice glasses. For Chinese style hot dishes, there's a rice, vegetables, and a variety of dim sum. Alcoholic drinks, coffee, fruits, cereals, and even instant noodles are available. It really feels like a kitchen at home. The lounge is compact but comfortable. Now let's head to the gate and board the latest aircraft from China Airlines, the A321neo. Look at the seat map. It features two two configurations in business class. Boarding the A321neo, the cabin is well decorated with the elegant signature wood grain. I chose seat 10A, a window seat. It features all the China Airlines design elements, but a bit more compact than their A350. The seat has a high-resolution touchscreen. A welcome drink is soon delivered. Placed on a small table with handy storage area containing a headset. Another small compartment, along with a coat hook and document slot. Safety car and printed shopping magazines complete the setup. The foot area is a little bit cramped. I'll show my sleeping experience later. As the seats are close to each other, there's a big privacy cover with a mirror, a nice touch. Finding a reading light and a simple remote in a handy position. It displays the remaining flight time and features a mouse pad, same as what I saw on Fly Dubai 737 MAX 8. The headset jack is on the wall, inside a small compartment with a power socket and USB charger. The USB charger supplies 5 watts, which is standard and useful. There is also a headset holder and a wireless charging pad, though it doesn't always work with my iPhone. Next to the chair, there's another document holder. The headrest is flat and can only adjust the height. It's also featuring a three-point belt. Preloaded amenities including a pillow in golden color and blankets black on the outside and golden inside. This noise cancellation headset is probably the best among all China Airlines flights. An interesting feature is that if you bring your own wireless headset, you can connect via Bluetooth here. Now, let's fasten the seatbelt and say goodbye to Bangkok. Enjoy the engine sound of the A321neo.
I hope my videos are informative. The playlist includes all my China Airlines videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more quality content. Soon, sleepers are delivered. Here's a travel hack. If you are flying China Airlines in business, request the most comfortable business class sleepers in the air. Continuing the seat tour. The seat control is simple with not many touch buttons. Interestingly, the light button doesn't turn on the overhead lighting, but the small storage area at the front. We have both an overhead air vent and a personal light. The armrest on the other side can only open and close, and you will need to manage it while in light down mode. Business class passengers and China Airlines Elite Flyers can access free internet with a total of 300 megabytes. As expected, the signal is terrible in the air, and I can't even post a Facebook update. It's better to watch a movie and prepare myself to enjoy the meal. The exciting moment is the onboard dining after takeoff. The table is slickly hidden inside the armrest, and it's large, sturdy, rotatable table. It's easy to take out and put back. I receive onboard snacks with mixed nuts and a sparkling peach drink. Soon the meal is delivered. I pre-ordered a steak with mushroom sauce as the main course. And it comes with a beautifully presented salad with smoked salmon. Low rich butter and fruit with a strawberry. The garlic bread is a must, but not all routes offer it. Alright, so let's have a uh, onboard lunch now. First, the uh, China Airlines offers the uh, metal tableware, which is a nice touch for business customers. Also, there are chopsticks right here. The yeah, salad actually looks very, very good. Got cheese here. We got salmon presented very beautiful. Let's try the bread a little bit. Stand here. Then we got a mushroom sauce. I ordered this because I visited the China Airline Elite Group Facebook. And I was asked which kind of a food is the best on this route. And we recommend anything beef related. We should try. So that's why I ordered this one. It is actually not a steak, it's more like the beef were put in the beef noodle soup. Also, the one when I flew from Taipei to Bangkok, the beef pasta, the black beef, is especially like a beef noodle soup beef. I probably cannot expect a real steak on board on a short route, but still very delicious. Finally, a Hagen Dazs ice cream is a wonderful ending. This is the only narrow body aircraft from China Airlines with a life left feature. You must try it even if just a 3 hour journey. You may feel it's not super comfy, and the cables need some arrangement due to limited storage space. But compared to a traditional recliner seat, it can really put you in sleep mode. I tried the foot area again while lying down without shoes, still cramped. If you're taller than 176cm, watch out! Also, try just sitting on the bed, but it's not recommended since flight attendants will ask you to wear the seatbelt. Lastly, due to the seats are so close to each other, while returning the chair to the sitting mode, I can only sit on it and keep moving myself. I guess it might slightly inconvenient if not wearing pants. Before landing, 
Let's review the loo. The flight attendant asked me to wait for a few seconds for cleaning. It's not because I'm filming. It applies to every business class passenger. Incredible service. Right now we are in the A321 Neo loo, business class loo. So as usual, they provide two types of tissues. This is a small drawer with a cleaning bag. It's a choose a hard coat. It's also concave actually. And they got amenities right here. The brand pure attitude. Not so sure. Cup for heating. Nothing. It's a baby table. A toilet protector, which is good. And a small size mirror, but okay. It's a hook. That's it. This is the most responsive touchscreen I ever experienced on the fly map in the air. Taipei has two airports. Now we are heading to TPE. It's not in Taipei City at all. But the real airport in Taipei is TSA there. We are approaching to Taipei, fasten the three-point seatbelt again, and enjoying the landing view. Welcome to Taiwan, my home country. It takes some time for visitors to pass passport control due to the many queues. There's strict regulation no bringing any meat to Taiwan. Unlimited data SIM cards are available both in the luggage area and after customs. All operators are great. If you are coming at the right timing, there's also a lucky draw for visitors to get some pocket money or gifts from the Taiwan government. In my next video, we'll stay in the one of very famous and classic 5-star luxurious hotels, Regent Taipei. Enjoy the fine dining at Robin's Grill, my favorite steakhouse, and unbox the balcony lounge and suite room. Don't forget the rooftop pool. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.